before we get into the hunt, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, hope you're all spending time with your family and enjoying your day or week or however long you get vacation for the holidays. On that note, as per tradition, we're out here on Hemeldahl for one last Rudolph and Reindeer hunt before the event ends. I should note this is actually being recorded before Christmas because the event actually ends on the 21st. So we're going to head out. We actually have a golden present to find. And of course, we're going to target the Rudolph Reindeer. I think maybe a decent strategy for today too is going to be doing more reindeer tracking than we typically do just to look for that golden present, cover more ground in theory makes us more likely to find it. And you can see, got a big reindeer track here up to 180 kilo. However, it's really old. And frankly, I wouldn't be shocked if they've already exited the map and spawned elsewhere, but we're gonna continue to try to track them down. Worst case, maybe it leads us to something else. And the one thing is they are headed towards this lake and I don't know what happens, but when reindeer get to there, they seem to just stop and kind of mill around instead of continuing forward. So maybe there's hope. It's almost like they're leaving behind presents. We're finding quite a few. And, oh. Odd. Maybe they came back this way. We actually spooked them, but that is good. They can't leave the map when spooked. Now, we're still going to have to struggle to find them before they end up leaving the map regardless, but they're not gone. They're around. I think that's probably our guy. Hi, wait up to 580, a really wide frame. And luckily, we got that fleeing track and just kind of took it slow. He's right down there by the water. Can't tell if that's him noticing us. Not gonna matter in the end. I think if he had the shovels, because he had two broken, that's a little unfortunate, but he may have had a shot of being close to 600. His tops weren't that great. And maybe that's what kept the estimate as low as it was, but a solid enough start. It took just about 45 minutes to finally get a decent reindeer track. We had two different bulls that went up to like 110. Didn't bother following those because that's usually a recipe for a pretty small reindeer, but actually he's got three shovels. Not that bad. I guess the weak tops are the main thing, but let's see. Hard shot him there at 72 meters. Decent enough weight and a 564 score. I forget the score of the one we shot last time. It was right in this range, but we've had fairly solid luck with the reindeer. By the way, did not get to mention in the intro, but the transformation is complete. As long as you don't look at how terribly the boots fit. I don't know if you can see that from first person. Not really. The pants kind of clipped through them pretty bad, but a pretty good reindeer to get us started. Still no sign of a golden present, and we're actually back to where we've already been through, so probably going to fast travel elsewhere soon. Well, this is one way to do it. I believe we spooked this herd of reindeer too. And he's not a very big one, but finding able reindeer at this stage has been a little bit tough. And this happens basically every Christmas. Those of you that have been watching for a number of years can probably recall, just for whatever reason, this particular hunt, we struggled to find bull reindeer. And we had the two hunts out here doing the holiday missions. I can't even tell you how many reindeer I ignored while we were searching for other species, specifically the lynx. And now we come out here to target reindeer and they are nowhere to be found. But that's number two. It didn't look to be a Rudolph, but it was far enough away that I'm not 100% sure of that. Actually, now that I think of it, I know it's not a Rudolph. Even though I didn't really look at the nose, I did notice the white neck and the mythical fur, as they call it, for the Rudolphs. It's a little more of a gray color. So very much a common. Not a terrible frame, but just not much going on there. Doubling them at 170, still a 399 score, which unfortunately even makes that one bigger than our best Rudolph of the year. I think we have a 398 or 396, something like that. I'd love the top 400, but I think it's going to be tough considering we're struggling to find bulls of any kind. Well, once again, I can pretty much confirm we're going to be tracking spooked reindeer. A 140 to 170 kilo bull. And it looks like the entire herd with all the tracks here, but no call from them at all. There's been moose and red fox and roe deer, everything calling over here. And my best guess is this is going to be a fleeing track, but they're typically not that bad to track when they're spooked. They kind of for once actually slow down. So it may be a good thing. I think in this case, we're going to have to maybe take this female with a bow. 
It's a kind of decent bull moose walking in there too, but I'm worried that this is going to get in front of us and potentially spook the bull, which I don't think is that far away. They really don't flee that far before slowing down. And of course, the snake bite is more or less completely silent, so we ought to be okay to do that. And just hopefully that's the right call. And it may be a persistent problem since they do trot back to the bull once they kind of calm down. That one is likely to head our way too, but maybe we can find the one that we're after before then. Because his tracks are continuing this way. I wouldn't be shocked if he's just below the hill. That's probably going to have to be number two. 20 meters away and I just don't know where the bull's at. Now, if he's within like 30 meters, he could end up hearing that. They're very loud when they flee though, so I think we're getting away with it again. And this is like the ideal spot. Everything kind of drops off. It's relatively open, and maybe we'll crawl just on the off chance that he's like 50, 60 meters away and kind of heard that but didn't spook. We won't add any extra reason to send him running. We can see as well his tracks are right here, and I heard another reindeer. So maybe he is just kind of below the hill. This is going to be a pretty low scoring one, 125 and a 5 CSS. Is he somewhere close? I hear footsteps. Better get ready. That is him. Not a Rudolph, but a pretty solid bull. I don't know if he sees the Santa beard and thinks he has <laughs> run to us. That was something. Really glad we went ahead and took that shot with the bow, though. Now, this guy's got nice tops and one total shovel. If we could get all the things combined in one, we'd have a really nice reindeer. But this guy, I think, may top 500 regardless. Depends on if we're ever going to see the score calculate. Good thing it's not a Rudolph, because we'd not be able to taxonomize it. Typically what happens here, if we go ahead and hit resume game, we'll get the score in the stats page so we can know what it's going to score, but we'd never be able to tax it, so kind of works out that it was this particular one. Again, had that been a Rudolph, it would have easily been our best. And we can see in our stats page a score of 486, so evidently we even could taxonomize it, which I thought when you got this glitch it was never possible. So that's good to know, and good to see what the score was anyway. Well, I suppose we shouldn't be passing up this opportunity. A 170 to 195 bull moose just kind of not so much in the open, but very much visible over there through the trees, and he's actually just kind of feeding along. But if we can maybe get a decent shot on him with the 8x57, then out of the dropping him there with a hard shot, we can skid over through there and just kind of keep up this pace of... Covering ground, looking for the golden present. We've had, I think, every color of present other than the silver and gold. Lots of them. And you now the other side is we have that chance of running across a herd of reindeer tracks again. As for this guy, though, our first non-reindeer the hunt in probably low 190s, high 180s. Hard shot 172, actually. Not quite as big as I thought, but we'll take it. And just like that, we do have a bull reindeer track, however... It maxes at 105 kilos, so I don't expect much out of that, but we'll follow him. Luckily, this time, at least we're able to get eyes on him first. I think they're in calling range, so we'll go ahead and start to hit the call, but they move so quick. 150 meters out, that could very quickly become 200, 220, and they're out of calling range. So let's try to get him coming this way. Couldn't tell what that was, but for the weight, the bull wasn't as bad as I thought. Wait. There's no way that's the one I saw. Unless, maybe I can use one of the cows for the bull? It's probably possible there's two herds here, but I didn't see two herds worth of tracks. Maybe the bull is actually the size that we expected. The bad thing is, he kind of managed to sneak in there behind those rocks. There may be a slight shot window, and we might try it just because they're kind of all around i thought there was even a slight chance we could get away with that we're literally right on the edge of the map so it wouldn't have been hard for things to get a whole lot worse wouldn't have minded if that was a rudolph it kind of fits the theme of being like the smallest youngest reindeer but even this guy ends up being a common 80 kilos and a 223 score of 15 css so i guess it could be worse but not exactly a monster I think what we're going to do here, though, if we can fast travel again, 
is actually go back up by the lake at the lodge. We got six minutes to wait. We'll kind of just run our way maybe up to these lakes and see if we can find anything there. But as I mentioned towards the beginning, something happens up there by that lake. Reindeer seem to just kind of congregate there as the hunt goes on. And maybe we can manage ourselves one or two more. I'm kind of assuming this is a reindeer from that same herd, but it technically could be a solo female as well. That's also a possibility. Might as well go ahead and take it. We have a couple of minutes so we can fast travel. And even worst case, if it actually is with another herd, so we have a red fox walking in front of it, we could maybe see them take off and know what direction to follow. That said, I don't see any movement up there. So probably, it was one of those two things, a female from the herd that kind of split off and ran that direction, which possibly that's the case, that's the track, and it would have kind of come from where we came from, so that would make sense. But one little bonus reindeer before we take off, and pretty much it's going to be our last ditch effort to get something a little bit better. I think we still only shot maybe four bulls. Would be nice to get at least one more, and we'll see if this area is going to do the trick. Turns out, apparently, it happens whether you've got a bull in the herd or not. I think this must be a herd that we shot the bull out of already, because they're very clearly not moving this way, and the only reason that they should be would be if there was a bull coming into the call, so I really didn't want to shoot this one. It's clearly the lowest scoring out of them, but if it's going to stand right there, and I mean, what the heck, we can sort of get to, do we spine that? I don't know if they maybe don't have a bedded animation. I thought they did, because I almost feel like I've shot reindeer that have, like, bedded down and then expired? I don't know, maybe there was just some time in between. There had to be spine two, because spine one would have been an instant drop regardless. Now, I actually thought that there was another reindeer sound to the right, so I'm hoping that if there was other ones kind of going our way, maybe using the snake bite won't have spooked them, but worst case, we'll kind of start scooting down towards the water and see if there's any there. It took a little extra walking around, but we do have one final bull here. No Rudolphs today. Maybe he's taking Christmas Day off. We've had such luck with him on the other hunts. And I guess at that point, it is all good to not get one today. But remember at the beginning of the video, I talked about the strategy of running and looking for tracks, which I was hoping may lead us to a golden present. This was one of those bulls that was a really low weight estimate track from hours ago that we just ignored. And he's, you know, not that bad compared to the really tiny one that we shot is at least respectable. Quite an odd thing. That, that's not a shovel. Is that a sticker, I guess? Or maybe that is part of the shovel. It looked like it was busted off on the other side anyway. Still quite the odd looking time. 376 score, I think, puts him at our second smallest for the day, which frankly is not that bad. We have had some decent ones, the 564 being the second biggest one of the event that we've shot. Nearly 10,000 meters of running on White Rhyme Ridge, but finally, the golden present and the last objective for the holiday 2022 missions is done. I don't know why it's taken that long to calculate, but we've got the rewards. I believe there was a tent, a bunch of GM, and all that good stuff. And that is finally it. The links and the golden present must have taken nearly double the time everything else did, but we did it. And I think on that note, that is going to do it for this video. No new Rudolphs to add to the Trophy Lodge today, so that means a 394, 396, whatever he was from the previous video, is going to be the best that we get for 2022, and as per usual, I like to keep our holiday videos relatively short and simple. It is a day to spend with family and friends, and I hope you guys are doing that today. So once again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.